The following is a world class bullshit is exclusive. You know, I've been a Star Wars fan for a long time, but I've never seen anything that makes me question that as much as what we're about to talk about today. Folks, we have lived through the Star Wars Dark Ages during the Culture War. The Disney Star Wars is the greatest era. And now we've entered a new one, the High Republic era, which is... Uh, confusing to say the least. It's Disney's attempt to create new Star Wars lore, to get new Star Wars readers, to create new Star Wars fans, but the Star Wars content they're creating is, well, kind of confusing. Last year, we were introduced to Ram Jamaram. Yeah, that's a guy's name. Most people just know the button here on this channel. But there's a little more to the character. But I'm not going to look into it because that's a stupid-ass name. Speaking of axes, Leox Gassi, or excuse me, Leox Jossie. Yeah, this is why we don't take Disney Star Wars serious, folks. All right, we got to see what they're going to do. Give them a chance. Do something outside of the original trilogy. Well... We get the High Republic, which takes place a couple hundred of years before the original trilogy. Okay, cool. Well, it's Jedis and Wookiees and Bake Offs and... Yeah, that's a real thing. So if you haven't heard, Star Wars The High Republic has veered off into the Bake Off territory. Because when you think of Star Wars, you think of a galaxy far, far away and... Ooh, who made that? Star Wars reveals the Jedi officially have their own Bake Off. Really? The recently released one-shot Star Wars The High Republic Adventures Galactic Bake Off Spectacular takes the space opera in a new direction. Baking. Two Jedi go head-to-head -head in a baking challenge that requires them to share stories which delve into the history of the High Republic era of Star Wars. Will these heroes master the art of creating Yoda's pastries? The Galactic Bake Off Spectacular is an offshoot of the ongoing title Star Wars The High Republic Adventures, published by IDW, which is regularly written by Daniel Jose Elder. Taking place during the High Republic era that is set 200 years before the events of Star Wars Episode I, The Phantom Menace, the adventure series focuses on the journeys of young Padawan under the tutelage of Yoda as they learn powerful lessons like how to harness their fears rather than reject it, and now make pastry. The webzine Comic Crusade has released an official preview of Star Wars The High Republic Adventures Galactic Bake Off Spectacular, including the credits page, blah blah blah, and a cover by Jason Liu. Well, with all due respect to the artist... This project belongs in the loo. But I digress. The solicit features information that details the issue will feature the character of Torban, Buckets of Blood, Buck, and Cantum, Psy, going up against each other, not in a physical fight, but in a bake-off to Master Master Yoda's special pastry. Hmm. The description even promises that the recipe for these pastries is included in the back of the comic. Wait. So they have, like, flour and eggs and Star Wars and milk. I mean, we have blue milk and other animal creatures, but this is lame. Like, as a kid, you would get, like, the Marvel cookbook, and you're like, all right, well, Spider-Man can save the world and make me pancakes. It's it's whatever. But Star Wars was next level. Like, there, were, there have been Star Wars cookbooks, uh, the Wookiee Cookie cookbook. But it's a joke. Like, it used to be like, hey, you want a Star Wars cookbook? And you're like, sure, because it's a cookbook based off of a movie. Now they write a bake-off into the narrative. Like, Wookiee cookies and all this other shit you used to eat from that cookbook was fine because Han Solo didn't stop in the middle of the movie with Chewbacca to go to, I don't know, Mon Calamar and make cookies with Admiral Ackbar. They didn't stop off on Sullust and, you know, bake brownies or something. No, it's, they were in the middle of a fucking war. These are supposed to be, tra they're getting ready for war. They're training to be Jedi. Um, aren't you worried about the Sith? Aren't you worried about things? Look, the Sith have been gone for a while, but I'm pretty sure there are bad guys here in the High Republic era. Um, anyway, though, I digress. Apparently, it requires an epic story to create the pastry, so Bucket of Blood and Canton tell tales of battle in their lives while creating the treat. The reward for the winner? Padawan approval. Oh, God. Um, you guys have been looking at some of the pages right now. Um, yeah, I do comics, and uh, they're way more fun than this. Uh, a Galactic Jedi Bake Off. Uh, no, you can read about the Wokebusters who blow political correctness out of the water. Uh, go to WokeBustersComic.com right now and get yourself a copy. Pre-orders are now open. I really don't care who wins this bake-off. I don't care who uh, comes out victorious. This isn't the epic struggle of 
uh, Luke Skywalker and Darth Vader. No, this is the struggle of blue, blue-haired guy and little kid with a braid and Ram Jam Ram, and they're on their way to a bake-off. Do you see why I'm not that excited? Like, go back in time and read some of the early Star Wars comics when there was no Empire Strikes Back and you had a lot of comic writers trying to create the world of Star Wars. And they did a pretty decent job. Not all of it was canon, not all of it was official, but some of it was pretty solid and most of it was just at least fun. Uh, Remember Jackson the Giant Rabbit? That's the kind of stuff I'm cool with Star Wars comics becoming canon. Galactic Bake Offs? Really? Really? Nothing Star Wars does can surprise me. Or at least I think that's the case until I read shit like this. Good old Star Wars The Galactic Bake Off. Man, I hope Paul Hollywood, Prue Leith, and Mary Berry are all ready to review these delicious Jedi cakes. These Jedi pastries. These Jedi delectables. Delicacies, if you will. I just... This is stupid, and you know it's true. So, folks, tell me in the comments what you think about Star Wars The High Republic uh, Adventures Galactic Bake Off Spectacular. Is it spectacular? Is it awesome? Was there a lot of baking, or was it a lot of bullshit? Were you sold a bullshit story under the guise of baking? Like, this is the narrative structure, the framing device that they're using to create this story. Isn't that lame? Like... Two men are dying on the side of the road after an epic battle, a shootout, if you will, or two criminals have robbed a bank, and now they're on the rooftop dying, telling each other their live stories. Nah, a bunch of Jedis with lightsabers are just baking. Yeah, it's 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 that level of pedantic stupidity, and I'm so glad that Disney's here to create more Star Wars content, to shovel more money down the bottomless pit that is Star Wars in the modern era. You know, I thought they would fix it with Book of Boba Fett. I thought Mandalorian was okay, and it gets eh, it got shittier, and everyone overlooked Luke Skywalker. Uh, everyone used Luke Skywalker to overlook some of the faults, but I digress. My point is, this just isn't... Come on. I was a child. Some say I still am. This would never have been cool. Uh, when they made a WWF cookbook back in the Attitude Era, they didn't have The Rock sell you a cookbook. It was J.R., it was a character that it made sense. Even though The Rock's catchphrase was, do you smell what The Rock is cooking? I didn't give him a cookbook. It was a little too on the nose. But uh, Star Wars, they don't know what tact or subtlety is. And uh, every day, every way, we learn that is more and more true. So folks, thank you for watching. I'm going to be back a little later on with more content. I'm headed to a funeral, so I'll be away for a couple of days. No high council, but we should be back on Thursday. So do us a favor, check out WokeBustersComic.com and pre-order yourself a copy right now. Go to ShopWCBS.com, get yourself a WCBS shirt or beer glass, and uh, get ready because 2022 is our year. We're going to the top, and uh, we're not looking back. So folks, thank you for watching. Be smart, be safe, be cool, but always be excellent to each other.